if a blind person were to hear Haskell, they'll probably go, oh my God, this is a beautiful song, you know? Yeah, yeah. But if a deaf person were to watch a music video, they go like, what the hell's going on? This is probably horrible, you know? <laughs> so, so it's like, it's like, listen with your ears, not your eyes at the end of the day. And that goes into what I'm trying to push, the narrative that I'm trying to push where it's, listen to my music, like my music before you like me as a person. Yeah. Great, everybody. Welcome back to another one of the convos. Today, joining us is another very special guest, Rumor. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, glad to have you. Pleasure's all mine. Pleasure's all mine. How's all everything right, going? I just got to ask um, how many people still call you RMR? A lot of people. A lot of people still don't know about me. Rumor. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing because it's a conversation starter, you know? Yeah. Because I'll definitely people, like, what's good? I love your music. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's Rumor <laughs> by Like, oh, I didn't know this whole time. It's like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, I had to go through, I had to go like watch a video too. I had to make sure I, I was like, I don't know if it's R or my, I think it's something else. So I had to go watch a video and he right. said Rumor. I was like, all right, but. No problem. Okay. So, um, I mean, right at the back, who is Rumor, bro? Rumor is. Rumor is an artist. Rumor is an artist that cares about good music, that wants to put positive energy out there, that wants people to feel something when they listen to his music. You know, rumor is rumor is you. You know, okay. Rumor, like rumor is a guy who grew up, you know, millennial, grew up listening to whatever that was on the radio, so many influences, you know, uh, grew up around very mixing pot of people, a huge mixing pot of people, I should say, you know, with, uh, various backgrounds and whatnot and can relate to a lot of people. So that's what rumor is. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Definitely been trying to like, you know, get more background info into you. Obviously you got the whole, anonymous, um, you know, mysterious kind of background, which I like. I think it's a very smart movement. It's obviously been paying out. So I don't want to get through too much. I want you to reveal nothing like too much, but it's like kind of coming where you grew up from. You said like you had a lot of influences, like you listened to a lot of different artists, a lot of different bands. Like what kind of got you into like all these different genres? Because, you know, as you know, like coming up as, you know, uh, as, as a black in America, it's very much expected for you to listen to like, most yeah, definitely, most definitely. Yeah, so it's tough. To be honest with you, it's video games. You know, I was okay. like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That yeah. got me into a little bit of rock, and then Madden. I think it was like Madden. Was it Madden? Oh four, oh three. When Blink One Eighty Two was, uh, they were like the main song, mm -hmm. and then I was like, yeah, "What is this?" But like, I always heard, I always heard punk music. You know, like I always heard punk, and and like I, I. I loved pop because of like TRL and stuff and watching that and, you know, even like 106 and park and stuff, but even though 106 and park isn't pop, but <laughs> TRL and just like that whole, that whole air of like era of like culture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What pop culture was even the, like hip hop was pop culture at the time, mm -hmm. like the bling air, I should say that was a, uh, that was good. That, that, that really, made like a huge influence on that had a huge influence on me and uh that got me you know uh ears and eyes open to like a lot of different sounds and stuff and like a lot of stuff came in so yeah i would say the bling air got me i mean early 2000s okay i mean listen like a lot yeah i mean like you know yeah it's a lot of songs obviously your biggest song rascal and like country influences and whatnot but like when you bring up like early 2000s it's like music and the bling era, I definitely think of like St. Louis rap and like Nelly and the St. Lunatics. Yeah. Those are the first kind of hip hop artists I really remember kind of crossing over and dealing with like that more country elements in their music, even in their like rap songs. So like, yeah, was that yeah, something yeah. that Nelly's kind of a, Nelly's a, Yeah, Nelly's a huge inspiration. Nelly and even, even Chingy, you know, like the whole Midwest, whole Midwest flow from like Twista to Kanye to Nelly to M, you know, the whole uh, 
fast but melodic. You can hear it, you know, you can hear that influence in like a lot of my music. You know, and like how they how they twist it up and do that. Even Bone Thugs too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Nelly, Nelly and I have like three records. That uh, you know, we'll we'll see when they're coming out. Might even be on the album, but we'll see. Uh yeah, so Nelly, Nelly, Nelly was one of the earlier people to reach out. Cool guy. Cool guy. Yeah. And he has, yeah, he's probably in like top five influences. Okay. Yeah. So I was so I was right in here and that was like early two thousands. That mix of oh, like yeah. rap and like country. That was they were the first ones for sure from yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, I remember yeah, from my sure. era for sure. Yeah, there was Cowboy Troy also. He did something. True. True. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, the big reason why like, I'm kind of drawn to you and want to talk to you is because, like, our platform, I was like, we ran by like two black black kids that grew up listening to rap and everything, but we we started expanding. Where did you grow up? Oh, I went to high school in Colorado. Colorado, that's what's up. What, Denver? Yeah. Colorado, Springs? Colorado Springs? Springs, yeah. Military kid? Military kid. Okay, that a boy. That's what's yeah. up. So, shout out like, to Colorado Springs. Like, yeah, shout out to College Springs. I ain't been back in since I left, but you know, shout out to Springs. <laughs> but uh I mean, like you, like I was like, we were exposed to like all these other sounds, all the different genres, people that like kind of like liked and messed with. So like our taste ex- like exploded and kind of started going in all these weird different places. And that's kind of like what our platform is for is to kind of break that stereotype, like being like a black monolith where everything's oh, yeah. hip hop, yeah, everything's yeah. rap, and, like, for sure. So, like, that was a big reason why I wanted to speak to you because, like, I think that you were doing that now. Like, you're kind of exposing a lot of people to like all these different ways of approaching music that's not just this one lane. No doubt. No doubt. So, like, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's you what like I'm think about to... that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm. What? What? Uh, you know, that's that was that was one of the main goals at the start when I started things, it was, it was my concert. What is it going to look like? You know, the people who listen to the dealers and the welfare, you know, more urban background people, Mm. whether black, white, Hispanic, whatever, but more urban. And then the people who listen to when I, when I put out my first EP, that was my initial, you know, my goal. Cause the people who will listen to silence where it was more of a, I don't know, like a creptic Americana, Mm-hmm. song you yeah. know what i'm saying and then i even had not over you on there which was like a country song that i did with tim you know timbaland shout out timbaland but uh yeah it was just that it was it was to bring people together where it was you know like well what are you doing at this concert you listen to room of course i listen to room you know like oh yeah yeah uh, so it's yeah. just like people from different backgrounds maybe they might become friends maybe you know what i'm saying maybe there's love interest there that's what i'm about that's what i'm about you know I mean, that's dope. Like, like, I'd like, I'd like to like to see more of us like expanding into what what's possible. It's not just this one. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I wouldn't say that like I did it, but no. you know, there's I more would say that. for sure. I think you said what? There's a lot more like artists kind of. Taking yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's 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 hella there's hella now, especially now. Like I, I seen a plethora after Rascal. You know, and like a lot of people started, you know, like, and I, I, I love it. I love it where a lot of other people are expanding into different genres and doing this and, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's good. I mean, we even had like Yachty. Yachty just came out the whole, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yachty, Yachty's like, amazing. Like, Yachty's, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like, that, that, that whole, that whole album and, you know, diversifying and, and trying something new. Like, yeah, it was cool. Definitely. So, I mean, obviously, your anonymous rumor, there's a lot of crazy fan theories about, like, you know, the man behind the mask. Like, so what are some of the craziest ones you've heard out there? Uh, I don't know. They, they asked me that I'm from... I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, some of the craziest ones. What, what are some of the crazy, well, what, what are some of the craziest ones you've heard or you've seen? Um, they said you were a dude off of the voice. Um, let's stay. Yeah, I forget his name. He was like a gospel singer from Alabama. Um, oh, yeah, he's good. He's good too. I think he just, uh, ended up signing with uh young blue. I seen something on that. He's dope. He's putting out music also. 
Yeah. Kudos to him. Shout out to him. I've heard, you know, about 20 different places you're from, you know, like, you know, 20 like, different. like I see that all the time. Savannah, yeah. Ghana, on uh, Wikipedia. Nigeria. I don't know who put all that stuff up on Wikipedia, but it's not entirely true. You yeah. know, <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be, I, I mean, it's got to be also funny to sit back, like, you know, watch all these people go up these crazy theories and put all this stuff and know that, like, it's working because you're standing all out. Because the rumors, it's just all the rumors are rumors, you know, like it, it's, yeah. it, it's a good thing. Go ahead and uh, come up with all these preconceived notions and uh, run with it. So how the um, how the idea start to, like, come out with the with the shiesty mask, the anonym, anonymity, all that, like. Oh, is this a shicey mask or a ski mask? Ski mask, you know, you know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, 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 um, I kind of wanted people to listen to my music first before I distract them with anything, you know? And I know people are like, oh, it's a mask, it's a shirt. It's like, eh, you know, you're not seeing my face. You don't really know my personal life. You just hear a bunch of things that's going on. Just listen to the music, see if you like it. And then later on, we can explore different options, you know, yeah. whether the mask stays on or whether it comes off or blah, 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 you know, go ahead and listen to the music. Tell me if you like it. Do you ever, um, did you ever like look at other artists who kind of did that? Like MF Doom weekend, how like, I never listened to MF Doom. Um, I never tuned in, but I have respect for him, uh, because of his cult following and a lot of people that he influenced. Um, but yeah, no, I did, you know, early weekend, early Travis Scott, you know, a lot of those guys party, party and I, uh, shout out party. That's, that's, that's one of my, one of my boys, one of my friends, but, uh, yeah, you know, a, a, a lot of people who were just so disengaged from the image side, yeah, you know, where it was like, the music is what matters, like love the music first and then we can do all the posing for pictures and you know the gq look and whatnot so i respect that yeah i think the weekend probably had it down right the most because i remember when he first came out those mixtapes everybody was like yo oh, yeah, who, yeah. who the fuck is the weekend? nobody knew like, what his face looked like travis nobody also, knows travis, like yeah travis also travis did very well with that yeah yeah but like, then when you heard the sound when you heard the sound you knew oh this is a weekend sound oh this is a travis sound and i think that was like perfect yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I gotta ask, like, do you have a church background? Because the way your vocals, the way you're sounding, like all these open, like instrumentation, do you have like I did not, a background? I did not sing in church, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, I attended, but I didn't sing. Okay. All right. And um, I guess, like, that's what I'll ask is your visuals. Your visuals are very, very striking. Like you're singing this, like with Rascal, for example, you're singing like this country folk rap kind of song. You got the ski mask, the bulletproof vest, bulletproof vest with the guns. And it's like, it's like this dichotomy of two different worlds coming together. Is that like, was that like an intentional choice when you no, come to your visuals? About, it was more of a play on the juxtaposition of I think I said this a little bit earlier also with, um, man, what did I say? yeah, with, um, if a blind person were to hear Haskell, they'll probably go, Oh my God, this is a beautiful song. You know, yeah, yeah. but if a deaf person were to watch a music video, they go like, what the hell's going on? This is probably <laughs> horrible. You know? <laughs> so, so it's like, it's like, listen with your ears, not your eyes at the end of the day. And that goes into, what I'm trying to push the narrative that I'm trying to push where it's listen to my music, like my music before you like me as a person, you know? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I didn't think about that. That's smart. I like that. that that's a dope little, uh, kind of decision because like I said, like if you watched the video with the next set sound off, you watched it, just the image of it, you'd be like, I'd expect something totally different than, than what came out. And I think that was super, super dope. How's that? So kind of, I was obviously it was a massive hit in 2020. So kind of, how was that experience well. when you put it out and everything, and and how it just caught fire? 
I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> You're like the first person to ask me this also. It was uh, February 26. Yeah, it was it February 26, 2020. It came out. And then it was out for probably three days. And then uh, I think some the label that had the publishing and whatever, mm -hmm. I'm not going to mention them on this interview, but they... Uh, they actually took it down because I didn't have it. Uh, you know, I didn't have my uh, uh, ducks lined up in a row, <laughs> you know, uh, legal, legal side. Clear so that way, yeah. no. exactly. So they took it down and, uh, but it was already, you know, we Ooh. already caught fire on Twitter and somewhat YouTube and Instagram. So it was going crazy. So it was cool. It was cool to see, you know, zero to a hundred, zero to 60, you know, where it was like, Whoa, what the hell, what's going on here? And, yeah. uh, you know, everybody's like, Oh, went super viral and it was cool. And then for two weeks, it did what it was supposed to do. And then COVID happened March 13th. So it was like, okay, cool. You yeah. know, but I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful how things planned out because yeah. Yeah. I mean, also, at the timing of it, it was, I think, just the year before Old Town Road had come out, right before yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out Nas. Shout out Nas. Yeah. So obviously, a lot of people were, like, making comparisons between the two at the time and whatnot. And I think, obviously, now, like, you can see clear differences between you guys musical style-wise. But how, like, did that come out first? And then you, were like, oh, I like what's doing? Or you already had the song, like, ready? And then it just, the timing of things. No, honestly, I wrote the song in October 2019. So like a little months before and then shot the music video December 2019. And then kind of chilled out for a little bit and then released the music video when it was like ready, you know. But uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, no, Old, Town, Old Town Road was dope. I think it was it was definitely needed, you know, for like the culture and just everything just to like have people open their ears and you know go to different types of music and stuff and i think he did well with that and when it came to mind like i was listening to country way before then uh you know i i loved country before then so i had a different appreciation for it than you know like the average person who didn't yeah. listen to country and was just like oh yeah this is you know this is oh my god, bro, bro's really going, <laughs> right now, bro. Oh my god, you know. <laughs> so I, 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 I appreciated what he did with that, and it was cool. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen like more people in my like sphere want to go like live dance up until like a song like that came out. I'm like, since good. when you into this, you know, like good, good. So I mean, you had Rascal. Obviously, it was a cover of a reinterpretation of Rascal Flatts. Song like did they ever like kind of reach out to you and kind of hit you message like oh cool song cool whatever like no 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 um my friend Breelan Breelan actually did an interview with Gary Lavox uh the lead singer from Rascal Flats and mentioned me uh I don't he didn't have anything negative to say but he just kind of you know it, it was more of like a he's seen it and. He didn't know what to think of it because I, I don't, you know, I, yeah, yeah. he's probably from like a different walk of life and everything. And the song meant something completely different to him. So what, you know, <laughs> with, all the, with the context that I put it out. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he, he, he said, yeah, basically kudos. I think that's what he said. <laughs> no, no, I, we haven't, we haven't crossed paths yet, but hopefully soon. Cool. I mean, yeah, man. Ever since then, like things have been going up. You've been working with like a lot of big names, West Side Gun, Future, Lil Baby, Gamma Rose on your videos. Like kind of what's been experience, you know, going from I don't know what you were doing before, but coming from that to like now you you know, you work with these big the biggest names in the industry at the moment. Like how how was how'd you find all that? Uh it all just kind of came to me. Um, you know, working with Future and Baby. Uh, I didn't get to meet him because it was COVID and things were pretty strict and whatnot, but, uh, shout out my lawyer, Vince, 
with Vince Phillips. Uh, <laughs> he he lined that up and it was it was great. Um, but just living in the moment, just living in the moment of all those different characters and all those different experiences from from Amber to, you know, this person to everyone that comes around, you know, you know, uh, that has everything to do with my growth as an artist and as an individual, you know, aside from that personally, I, I appreciate it because I know where it was, where I was, you know, before the whole rumor thing happened, you know, so before I was moving around and around all these different, not to say like these people are like, Oh, but you know, it, it's yeah. like it's. But they've accomplished. I appreciate. You know. I appreciate their spirit and their anointment that they bring. You know, to me, where I'm able to take something from that. You know, either if it's like emotionally, spiritually, or anything from that, and grow. I appreciate it. You also had like um, I don't know. If you, I don't know if you consider your first album, your first mixtape, or CP, but drug mm-hmm. dealing is is a lost art. Yes. Cool name, huh? Great name. <laughs> Pusha T would be jealous for sure. Um, <laughs> so like that came out and then you kind of took like a two year break, basically. Yeah. So kind of why did you take a break and like, like you spent that time kind of like working on your craft, trying to find, find your next direction or, or kind of what was the Man, same test? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was, I was growing in other places and uh, I needed to get a lot of things right before I could release music again without things going the way that I was going, you know, even like, inter- like internally, like I needed to find myself, okay. you know, the guy under the mask needed to get a lot of things right. That's, that's where it is. Yeah. Maybe. But now I'm releasing yeah. music again and now everything's, you know, now everything's correct on the up. Yeah, yeah, you back. I mean, everything happens so fast. It can be like a whirlwind and a lot of people can kind of get lost in the sauce. So, I, I mean, I think it's sometimes it is a smart move to take a step back real quick and then like kind of regather yourself and prepare for like that next step. Most stuff. Which brings us to new single out, Crazy, produced by Ryan Lewis of Mac and Ryan Lewis fame, like kind of how that come about. Man, Mac, uh, not Macklemore. Shout out Macklemore also. But uh <laughs> Ryan, Ryan and Ryan and I, somebody reached, somebody uh connected us. Uh and the first time we worked, it was it was great. Like the first time we ever worked, it was uh crazy came up and he was you know, we're, we're new to each other and whatnot. And I come in with like a huge, it was when I used to like go with all my boys and stuff and they all had masks <laughs> and whatnot and everybody had a role, you know, and it was, uh, I didn't even mean for it to be intimidating, but now looking back, it's kind of like, oh, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, what's your, what's your motive here? But um, yeah, it was cool. So we sat down, quick introduction. We spoke a little bit. Uh, and he started kind of going through beats and whatnot and just loops. And I think like the first two, it was like, oh, yeah, this is cool. So and so. And then he just like, I just heard crazy and it was just, you know, it just came up and it was, uh, and then we just went from there and finished up the record. That day we finished up the record. Yeah. So it was cool. It's like that. It was cool. Yeah. And then we started working on a lot more things. So. Okay, you think there's kind of like a, you know, budding collaboration, continuing collaboration? There's definitely going to be a lot more. There's definitely going to be a lot more because there's a few, few other creatives that I agree to that I like working with. And, you know, it's, it's hard to get on the same frequency as other people because a lot of other people might be here and their intentions are something else where, <laughs> where yeah. it's like, okay, like I'm right here and like, you're, or vice versa, you know, I'm yeah. like right here and like, you're on this frequency. It's like, let's, let's match up and let's, let's do something. Let's do something that actually makes sense. But yeah, 
Ryan, Ryan and uh, a couple of other producers. Yeah. Shout out Omega. Omega. He's a, uh, he's a producer that I work with quite often. So, yeah. Okay. That's cool. I mean, Ryan Lewis, obviously he's got a lot of pedigree in music and has had some massive hits and had a lot, a lot of obviously history of collaborating. So, I mean, it's, I thought it was dope. So, are you like a fully independent now? Because I read some things, you know, new label. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, uh, left the old situation. Uh, shout out the old situation. Yeah, not to be named. Uh, uh, independent and uh, got a great management team now, 360. Uh, David Savage, Cody Kazarian, they do their parts where they can. Uh, and we're just kind of chugging along right now. We, we, uh, got with a wall, uh, it's been nothing but positivity. So I'm excited. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, how, how was your like major label experience? It was a lot different than everyone else's major label experiences from what I've heard <laughs> because, uh, COVID happened March 13th. I signed March 25th. So it was like, oh yeah, like I'm in the building, but I never got to like visit, you know, I never got to like visit the offices and whatnot. I didn't go in. I, for our first meeting, actually, I got to visit. I think it was like March 7th. So right before, right before COVID, I visited. But then every time after that, it was like, it was meetings like mm-hmm. this. It was, you know, over Zoom and doing this and doing that. So, but I appreciated, I appreciated it because uh, it was an eye-opening experience. Uh, it definitely, you know, had me grow in places where I needed to grow. And yeah, it was it was dope. It was cool. Do you think you take like some of those lessons folks. you learn now and then that's yeah, like your yeah. cool, cool independent experience? For sure, for sure. It's cool. So um, crazy out. You got new singles on the way, new album. Like what? Like what's the plan this year? The plan this year is to feed you guys with music, feed the public, feed all my rascals, my core fan base, feed them with music and uh, good music. That's it. So just put out good music. That's the plan. I mean, I'm sure you've been getting a lot of messages like, oh. Was it was a new song? Was a new music when you know for two years? Like people probably been hitting you up, like yeah, yeah, you coming yeah. Out, yeah. You coming out? People were <laughs> yeah, a lot of people were cussing me out, saying this <laughs> and, and and it was hard. It was hard, but but until I could get things you know accordingly, things lined up to where they they had to be, it was like you know I had to wait. Yeah. But now you're here. New single out, yeah. crazy. How's the response been um, to the release? It's been great. It's been, yeah, it's been it's been a, it's been a great response. Uh, it's doing well streaming. Uh, there's still time to go. You know, it's a young record. I think it's like two weeks old. So we're uh, we're still chugging along, still working it, and then yeah, more music. Like I said, coming soon. All right, album this year? Huh? Album this year? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave at that. Okay. <laughs> More music coming soon. <laughs> New music on the way. Oh, uh, crazy out. I think it's a dope song. Uh, oh, you like it? Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, good, good. Thank man, you, man. This? Thank you. I'm like, okay. I was like Ryan yeah, Lewis because Ryan Lewis, I haven't heard from a minute. I had heard from Rumor in a minute, and then you, you two coming back together. I was like, only makes sense. Yeah, man. Yeah, Ryan's dope. Good dude. Like I said, I'm, I mean, like I said, I'm definitely excited to see more artists like you, you especially like popping up and kind of pushing the boundaries of what, you know, what we can do as a people and like what what's open for us musically and and everything. And like, don't need to be bound by genres. And I think what you're doing is it's incredibly important. Bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. I make I make music for people like you. You know what I'm saying? People like yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I'm like you under this mask, so it's all good. Okay. Similar backgrounds, yeah. also. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to uh, you know more music this year. We'll definitely be posting on our website, like we have been, 
And uh, man, thanks, thanks for taking time chatting with us and, and whatnot. And good luck with everything for sure. All right, man. Thank you for everything. Talk to Socials you down below everywhere. You guys are watching this. Go stream crazy. Go follow Rumor and more on the way. <laughs>